Hey, what is up everyone? It's Cheddar Sombrero here, and we're going to be going over the hunt for the Sleeper Simulant, what we know so far. And I'd like to give a huge shout out to Echolog for creating this article and search for the Sleeper for all the info which helped compile that article together. So, Echolog just wants to say up front, and I'm reiterating this for him or her, I don't know how to actually get the Sleeper Simulant. Much of this post is speculation, but a lot of it is derived directly from the game's files and lore. It should at least clear up some confusion surrounding this gun and what it is or is not required to get it. So he first goes on to say that he believes Rasputin is the manufacturer for it, and that the clear evidence for that is because Rasputin has created Pocket Infinity and ACD Zero Feedback Fence in the past. If you want more information on that, you can check out the article for yourself. He has a great description for all of it, but I don't want to make this video too long for you all. Next, he said there's a symbol that ties all of these items together. It's apparently a diamond with wings looking thing. He says the symbol is found all over Rasputin's bunker as well as the three weapons mentioned above. He says they know a little bit about the background of the gun. They can at least speculate that the sleeper simulant was created by Rasputin using Vex technology in Warsat Parks. He then also goes on to say that he believes that the sleeper simulant is made of classified items. The full list of items he believes are the legendary fusion rifle relics, the rare Vex technology triangle orb mission item, don't really know what that is yet, the legendary datapad relics which can be found on Destiny DB. So we do have some locations listed for the exotic orb relic. Tier 2 node 2 says Rasputin war sat on the moon. Tier 3, Node 1, says Rasputin War Sat on Earth. Tier 4, Node 2, says War Sat on Mars. But the interesting one to me was Node 2 on Tier 3. It says all the components appear to be functioning properly. The fusion core is ready to be restarted. That's an excerpt from the Ghost's line. Could the exotic relic be a fusion core? I guess we won't know until we see. But there's apparently a second orb relic without any of the nodes, so it is assumed that it's the completed version of the quest line purposes. The intrusion ghost shell is also something that they believe that could be contributed to the sleeper simulant. It says that normally they wouldn't take notice of this, but they list it as a classified item above the relic and the fabled sleeper simulant. Apparently this is listed as a classified item right in between above the relic and the fabled sleeper simulant on Destiny DB. There are conclusions to be drawn there. And there's a very sleeper simulant -y exotic rifle. This thing led Echolog to look into all the classified items in the first place. This right here is an exotic relic with the same exact logo as the sleeper simulant itself. Is this a placeholder for the actual gun? The world may never know. 8. The Legendary Vex Technology Mission. This is the last classified item on Destiny DB. It is listed directly after the Sleeper Simulant-esque relic, and therefore I believe it is the last item needed to actually obtain the gun itself. It is, I think this is a kind of power cord that will activate the relic and turn into the Galahorn 2.0 that we all want. So to go over this, they believe that the final theory is in five steps. One, you collect all four legendary fusion rifle relics. Two, reach at least rank five gunsmith. Three. Find a hidden trigger in a mission or strike. Four, do something with Pocket Infinity. It says it's unlikely, but this would be really cool considering the lore. And five, collect all 50 calcified fragments. After further research, this is likely just a rumor. So maybe the first three are our leads into getting the Sleeper Simulant. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more Destiny coverage, and make sure to comment on what you'd like to see from me Cheddar Sombrero. If you want to check out this article for yourself, it will be listed in the description below. And make sure to give a thumbs up to Echo Log as well, because without this, I wouldn't have been able to make this video. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.